Hey guys, did you know that you can plot points in Desmos? You probably do, but we're going to practice that a little bit in this video. So um, whenever we plot points on a number line, that number line is the x-axis. So this line that's going from side to side on our graph, that's the number line. So for now, we're going to ignore this one that goes up and down. We're going to ignore everything around it. We're only looking at this number line. So you have to click on this little keyboard symbol in the bottom left corner um, if you're going to use any kind of uh, square root symbols or pi or anything like that. So whenever we plot a point on, on a graph or on a number line, <clears throat> it's in the form x comma y. So the way we type that is we have to have the open parentheses, the x value, a comma, the y value, and the closed parentheses. So like I said, this line that goes side to side, that's called the x-axis. So whenever we're plotting points on it, that we're going to put our number in the x-coordinate um, spot. So for example, if I wanted to plot the point um, square root of 3, I would open my parentheses, shift 9. I would have this open, and I would click on square root 3, comma, y, Oh, see, here's something I did. I'm going to backspace. After I'm done typing the 3, I want to get out of under the radical. That little square root symbol is called a radical. So I'm going to hit the right arrow key. And now I'm going to type my comma. And now instead of Y, I have to type 0. That way the point doesn't go up or down. It stays on that X axis. And then shift 0 to close it. So now I have this point right here. And I can zoom in on it, and if I click on it, it'll tell me, um, it'll actually tell me what the square root of 3 is, which is 1.732. So if I wanted to do, um, let's say pi, I would say open parentheses, pi, right down here, comma, 0, close parentheses. And then that's about where 3.14 would be. You can actually label them if you click on the check mark. I'm going to label this one blue. If I click on this check mark, I'll label this one green. So if I had like four names or something I wanted to put in order um, that had different, let's say, um, track times or something, um, I would put their names here and then I'd see, okay, well, blue is less than green because we read it just like a book from left to right. So blue is a lower number than green, which means that the square root of 3 is a lower number than pi. Uh, the last one we're going to do, open parentheses, let's say 10 minus the square root of 8. And then I press the right arrow key to get out of under the radical, comma, 0, close parentheses. Click on that. I'm going to label that one purple. That is optional. And so right now I'm not seeing it on the number line, so I'm going to try zooming out. And there it is. Sometimes if you don't see it, you just got to zoom out a little bit. So in order from least to greatest, we have blue, green, purple. If I, wa if I wanted to go greatest to least, I would say purple, green, blue. Okay, hope that helps.